All right. So I figured I would run run you through the the process of trading here on the Barry platform. Um, so after you get logged in, of course, um, it should automatically take you to the account and security page. And down here under where it says accumulated rewards and it says signed in. Well, that's because I already signed in. But it, if, if I wasn't, it would say sign in. And then you would just want to click that. Get signed in because you're going to accumulate rewards for that. If you go up to Mission and Rewards and click that box, um, this tells you your VIP level and your trading volume to date. And so when you first start out, you'll be a general user. And then as your trade volume, mine's at 22889 and uh, when your trade volume builds up to 3,000, you'll become a VIP uh, one. And then once it builds up to, I think it's uh, 10,000, it tells you down here, let's see. Yeah, 10,000, you become a VIP two. And 30,000, which I'm only 7,000 away from, you become a, a VIP 3. And then, you know, on and on and on. So, um, for each level, like a VIP 1, you get 20 cents for signing in. And you get, uh, you get a 10% discount on the... Uh, fees that you're charged and for a VIP 2 you get 50 cents for signing in every day for a VIP 3 you get a dollar and then up and up and up two dollars five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars every day for signing in now when you reach VIP level 1 they give you a ten dollar bonus and uh, It'll appear, like when you reach a level one, there'll be a gift box that appears in this blue bar here that says VIP2. There'll be a gift box that will dance around. And if you click that gift box, then it'll give you that $10 reward. And for a VIP2, you get a $30 reward. And then up and up and up. And so... You get rewards. They're just one-time rewards. So that's the the reason for wanting to get signed in every day. So once we get signed in, then we're going to go home to assets. Now, we used to have a staking feature. They are upgrading the platform. They're upgrading the platform so that um, because they just came out with their own coin... The Barry coin, the BRY coin, and so they have to redo the staking feature because this is the platform token, and the platform coin, we're going to be staking in that from now on, and so because it's down, because they're having to redo everything, and we're not able to trade on the Barry coin yet. It's still in its growth stage from the ICO. <clears throat> what they're doing is they're staking for us by removing our USDT at the end of the last trade and converting it to BRY. And then afterwards, in the morning... Or sometime later, they are uh, they're putting it back into USDT. See, I can go to my balance history, and you can see that at 3:45, they converted my funds from USDT into Barry, and then at Let's see, 
and then at 7.51 this morning, they, they were, oh no, I'm sorry, yeah, oh no, wait, oh, those were some residuals that I had, oh, that's right, because I staked my funds in TRX, so that they wouldn't get absorbed into Barry. And so, yeah, that's what I did. And I actually made a little bit by doing that. Um, but, because some people don't like it. <clears throat> some people don't like doing that. The group that I'm in, we're staking in TRX just to preserve our funds. We don't need no more berries. We already bought our berries, and, and we don't need them staking our funds for us. So... We're staking our own funds in TRX. So I sold my TRX this morning. And that got converted <coughs> to USDT. So, let's say we're making a trade. All right. And in order to make a trade, we're going to go down here to quotes. Let's go to quotes. Here's quotes. Now, everything up at the top, everything above this one in the middle that says QTP with the golden buy button, everything from QTP and above is, we, we don't trade on that. We don't trade on that. We, we trade below QTP. So we trade FBC, EEC, HAM, CPIC, AGC, CNL, FDPT, CFC, and soon we'll be trading Barry and BMI. Those are the two ICOs that are still locked up. So we haven't traded those yet. So let's just say CFC, for example. Let's get paired up with CFC by clicking it and that's going to take us to our chart bam now if we're making a market uh, market buy if we don't have the usually we have not only the buy time and buy uh, not only do we usually have the buy time and sell time we usually have the buy price and sell price but here lately, we haven't been getting the buy and sell prices. We've only been getting the times. So we've been using the market feature for a real-time purchase. You know, when, let's say, at 8.09, we're going to buy. You know, here in one minute, we're going to buy. So we're going to click buy. And we're going to move this barometer by clicking all the way over to the right. And that moves that little ball. And it maximizes all the funds in our account. We always go all in. And then we just hit buy. At the, you know, like right now. And, and, uh, and then we're given a sell time for, let's say, you know, uh, 15 minutes from now so at 8 24 and we would just wait till 8 24 and five minutes prior to 8 24 so at 8 19 we would see something very interesting. I'm going to go to the 15 minute chart because we traded on this yesterday and I just want to show you. Let's go back. Oh yeah, see, there it is right there. That's us coming in. Let's put it back to the one minute chart. And it's probably going to take me to the end. Yeah, it moved me all the way back to the end. So, I'm just going to scroll back until until we get there see when over a million people 
come in. Here it is. All together. All on the same coin. It causes an artificial rise in the price. By 4%. So we would just wait until we started seeing these candles shoot up. And then we wait until they get all the way to the top. And once they get to the top, you can see that little red candle next to it. Once you get that little confirmatory candle that it's done growing, then you just hit sell, maximize, and then hit sell again. That's it. And then you go to your order history and it'll it'll show the status has been completed you know like I bought TRX last night 100.85 and completed and then I sold it this morning completed you want to make sure it's completed then hit your little avatar go to assets and you'll see your USDT available in USDT and that's it and a lot of people would like to stake in between trades I just leave it there it's there's really no need to stake um, especially since we're since we're doing it in TRX now because we used to um, with the blueberry deposit and earn staking function Overnight, we would earn a little bit of interest, but we were having so many trades a day. We were doing three trades a day. You have to be staked for close to 24 hours in order for you to earn interest. So, you know, we would we would be having you know seven o'clock in the morning trades, 6:45, seven o'clock in the morning. And then, and then 11 o'clock, and then 2 o'clock. And so, you know, it didn't really do any good to stake. Because um, we just had, we had so many trades a day. And at 3 trades a day, that was 11%. And that was, that was pretty crazy. But yeah, that's how easy it is. It's not very hard. And, uh, you know, if you're on a desktop, um, you know desktop view let me just go back to the asset page notice that all I gotta do is turn my phone sideways and this gives me the desktop view so with the desktop view I don't have no buttons down at the bottom like I did before like where quotes was I don't have none of that it's all up at the top so I can just go to quotes and it looks a little different, you know. Um, and let's just say the the trade of the day is CNL for our signal. So this is what it's going to look like on desktop mode. And you've got your your buy and your sell right there and my little window is in my way I don't know why it's doing that but uh, yeah doesn't really matter so you know I've got a it shows that I have 101.04 available USDT. And I even still have a little bit of residuals left from the last time we traded it. But it's not enough to sell. Because you can only go four decimals, uh, four places, four digits past the decimal uh, when, you're, when you're selling and buying for most of these coins. So, you know, it shows you that you're on market, 
you know so all you got to do when you're buying is just maximize that barometer and hit that green buy button right underneath it real simple and then when you're selling same thing you know, when it comes time to sell, you got your sell side. It'll tell you how much is available right underneath it. You just maximize that and hit sell. Now, it's going to create some residuals when you do that. But, and there's a way to take care of it. You know, like, let me show you real quick. When you max this out... On, on the buy side you'll notice that it has in the little box it has 101.0400 well if you look just above that under buy CNL where it has the available amount the digits are 101.0406 blah 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 so I would have to click on this and 0406 is what it is so I would erase that one and go 0406 and do that on both the buy and the sell and that would eliminate those residuals both on the buying and the selling side of it and that's that's how I do it to eliminate my residuals you make sure that your four digits past the decimal match up with what you have in the available amount whether you're buying or selling that'll eliminate your residuals and you'll hear them go over this in the training but I just wanted to give you a quicker not quicker but a a head start and a rundown on what you can expect when trading so let me just put this back into phone mode now once we start getting the times again once we start getting our times I'm um, not times once we start getting our, uh, stop that. I don't want you on that. No. Uh, you always want to pair up. You don't ever want to do nothing without pairing up. That's a huge important thing. You always pair up when you go to here. And there's another way to pair up too. I showed you by going to quotes. If you're on this page and you're not paired up with the right coin, you can see it right there at the top left, CFC USDT, and that little downward arrow, just click that. And then now you get, you've got all your pairs. And so, you know, let's say it was CPIC, you know, let's say that instead of CFC, or let's say instead of CFC, you accidentally clicked FDPT. Or it was FDPT and you accidentally clicked CFC, you know, because that's usually the case. But you always want to double check and make sure that you're on the right pair for the day, whatever we're selling uh, that day. Anyways, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it, you know. I can't really uh, think of anything else. Um, and feel free to play with these buttons, you know, when we get, when we do, uh, you know, explore the, explore the platform, when we do ICOs, you'll notice at the bottom right hand corner, it says startup, well, you can click on that, and there's nothing that's ongoing, that's where it automatically pops up in the middle, you can click on coming soon, and it'll tell you what's coming soon. And there's nothing. You go to orders, and it'll tell you all the ICOs you have participated in. I've participated in... It's actually two. It's not really three, because BRY is the same coin. 
but uh, I participated in the CFC one. That one made me 500 bucks. That was a good one. And then BRY, they had a two-day promotion for BRY, and on the first day, it was a 70% winning rate, and then the second day, it was a 50% winning rate. So I acquired 917 coins the first day, and... 203 the next day and so yeah um, that was what that's all about um, but that's pretty much it for now you know um, that's all you really need to know So that's it. That's the rundown. 20 minutes. Peace.